Plus project uh, implemented by the Eastern Africa Farmers Federation in partnership with uh, the Max Rupner Institute in Germany uh, and uh, the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, CALRO, is a project that targeted to sort issues of aflatoxin uh, among the smallholder farmers. Uh, this project uh, used the different technologies uh, trying to compact uh, you know, aflatoxin in the food system. Uh, what we realize about uh, aflatoxin is that uh, it gets into the food uh, system, uh, of course, through, um, you know, the different handling uh, post-harvest uh, practices done by the smallholder farmers. Uh, and because of that, then, we told that it would be important uh, to give uh, technologies, uh, provide technologies to the farmers on how best they can manage this. Oh, mahindi ni melima kwa miaka 35. Na kutokea mwaka huo, oh, tulikuwa tu tunalima kawaida. Hiyo kulima kawaida, hiyo unalima tu, unaweka tu mahindi hapo, unavuna tu hivyo na kuleta mahindi kwa nyumba. Na vile tumepata mafunzo kwa hii oh, shirika la East African Federation. Mambo ya mebadilika. The most technology which is uh, being adopted by most farmers is the conservation agriculture. Because it has its own benefits. And, uh, because number one, it lowers the cost of production. And again, if the rains are not that good, you will still have to, to, to harvest something. Whether the rains were enough or not. So the three technologies were compared with the normal um, convectional way of farming. And these technologies were one, psychodama, two, conservation, and three, a push-pull technology. These technologies, for example, the conservation tillage involved a planting of maize without really uh, plowing the land. So farmers were trained on how to plant maize before they did the normal tillage that they, no they normally do. And after doing that, they would plant their maize and beans, but then use herbicides to control uh, weeds. The second one we are now is the uh, trichoderma. Members uh, planted maize just the way they do their maize. But on this time, they would add trichoderma, which is a biocontrol agent, they would add it into the planting hole so that that trichoderma would reduce the bad fungi from growing and therefore they would end up reducing the aflatoxin in the maize. So that technology, the push-pull technology, entailed a planting maize normally, but in between the rows of maize you plant desmodium and on the, on the outer side, on the hedges, you would plant uh, nipia grass. Project in Minnesota, was lakini nilikuja kupata kwamba hii project ni mzuri sana haswa ninapotumia hii mbinu ya push and pull kwa sababu mbele nilikuwa sina hiyo mbinu za kilimo push and pull lakini wakati nilipata mafunzo haya mimi nilisaidika sana kwa sasa sa, nyasi ambayo ni nepia ni chakula cha mifugo alafu pia kuna desmodium hivyo pia ni chakula cha mifugo hapo hapo pia inasaidia sana kasi ya mvua hasa kama kuna nyesha sana msukumo wa maji unakatwa na ile mizizi ya nepi mahindi na ya anika kausha ni yaguse ni jue haina ule unyevu unyevu uzito zito hapo mbele ni kabla hatujafunzwa mafunzo na aflazet mahindi tulikuwa tunapata uozo mingi kwa mahindi tulikuwa tunapoteza mahindi mingi sana lakini tangu tufunzwe sasa hizi unaweza pata kati ya mahindi kumi, mahindi moja ndiyo iko na uozo lakini sio ile haijaoza sana kuna kipimo tuliletewa ambacho watu tunapimia tukipima hiyo mahindi kama yamekauka inaonyesha kwamba yamekauka kutokana na mavunzo niliyopata kutoka kwa Flazet pesa mfukoni kwangu imeongezea kwa mfano nimeanza kupata mahindi extra mains ya kukula na ya kukula leka shamba sokoni hali yangu ya maisha ya leo iliongezeka kwa sababu hata ile pe, ile kitu chakula ambacho nilikuwa napata amba ile pesa nilipea na watoto wakaenda shule hiyo shamba nilikuwa natoanga tu kitu kama gunia moja 
na wenye mlitufunza sasa hiyo hiyo shamba ilinitolea gunia ine. Kwa hiyo gunia ine niliusa hiyo mahindi nikaenda nika nikalipia watoto school fees.